Yo, what's going on, buddy? This is Don't Talk Sports. My name is Dylan. In today's video, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, we're going to be talking about Angel Hernandez and basically just a summary of all MLB umpires and why the fuck they all have a fucking problem going on this year in the MLB. Now, let me explain, kind of talk about the MLB umpires. A lot of them have been making calls wrong a lot over the years, and sometimes we always talk about, oh, there needs to be punishment, and this goes for NBA refs, NFL refs, they don't have a punishment. So you kind of think, oh, could there be a punishment for MLB refs? You talk about players when they argue the calls about the umpire, they get fined. MLB umpires, they don't get anything done to them. Sometimes when an umpire has a very bad calls maybe they could get fired well something i found about angel hernandez is this man can't even be just barely touched by the mlb basically kind of the way it goes and we're gonna talk about it more in the video that he has almost like a way with the union that he can't even be touched he can't be fired he can't be suspended he can't have anything done to him so not only is this man the worst mlb umpire we've ever seen not only is this man blinder than a bat with bricks over his eyes the fact that he can make whatever call he wants whether it's a good call or bad call the fact that he can make the worst calls in the world and he can just get away with it scot-free oh believe me we're gonna have to talk about that now and hopefully by the end of the video what i want to discuss is i just want to break down can there be some sort of punishment for this man even with the union but without further ado we're gonna get straight into this so if you're going to enjoy as always make sure you go and drop a like on this video be very much appreciated if you do so but without further ado let's get into it Okay, now I have this whole article here that kind of breaks down, talks about Andrew Hernandez. I'll put a link to it down in the description below if you want to go read it for yourself. But one of the big things that kind of broke the internet that we need to discuss is this play right here. I'm going to kind of hit play, and you can kind of see everything going forward. Uh, watch the way the strikes are going. Str this is being called a strike way outside the strike zone. Strike two, he's calling. And this is Angel Hernandez for you, those you don't know. And right here, he's ringing up a guy. Strike three, way off the fucking plate. And it's not even about, I think, the strike one or strike two. Look at the strike three and look at how far outside he is on the fucking, like, look, he's out, he's in the batter's box. If you were batting left-handed, you're, you're getting pegged. And sometimes you can see right here, the, um, the catcher will try to, like, bring his catcher's mitt over and try to, like, line it up to the strike zone, make it look like a better, uh, kind of like framing it, as you could say. And if Andrew Hernandez cannot see him moving the ball that much, oh, we got a problem. Now, like I said, why can't, as it says here, why can't the Major League Baseball League do something about Andrew Hernandez and just get rid of him ASAP. Now, a better explanation is as, as follows right here. Firstly, the umpires union is typically in charge of punishment for their fellow umpires. Firing an umpire based on nothing but poor performance is nearly impossible. As it says here, back in 2012, umpire Bob Davidson was suspended for a game after, quote, repeated violations of the Office of the Commissioner's Standards for situation handling, quote. It says Mike Winters was suspended in 2007 for escalating a situation with Milton Bradley and Brian uh, Runge for suspend or and was suspended the following year for making contact with then New York Jets or New York Mets manager Jan Jerry Manuel. Case point of what they're trying to say here is look at the like allegations and the se severity of what these guys did and the most they got is a year suspension, maybe a few games. Whereas with Angel Hernandez, the boat the most he's doing is a bad call here, a bad call there. Eventually, I would say if it's like tallying up and it's getting repeatedly, maybe you could try to eventually say, hey, get a game in there get two games in there but what they're saying is it happens here and there it's not like game after game after game or like it's not happening for the same team all the time it's not like he's like attacking a team or just constantly doing it. it's every here and there and also the last thing that kind of makes it understandable why he can't be getting rid of uh as it says here but to further understand why the mlb hasn't got rid of hernandez it's important to remember that he has twice twice filed lawsuits against the league claiming discrimination if you're curious it says here he's a cuban born umpire uh has not been on hand for a world series since 2005 he's been an umpire since 1993 and has been pressed or passed over for crew chief assignments multiple times it says here he filed for discrimination back in 2017 but lost in 2021 he filed again last year but his claims were basically just dismissed now two things i want to kind of break down here number one i understand discrimination i understand like the bullying going after if people are being racist or whatever maybe i understand that if that is the case there's no need for that. There, that is not needed in sports or anything in life. But second thing, uh, Andrew Hernandez, I hate to break it to you. They don't want, it's, they're not going after you or trying to go against you and not let you become crew chief or try to let you do the World Series because they don't, or maybe they're racist or whatever. They're going after you because you're a blind bat with bricks over your eyes. They see the bad calls. They see how horrible you are behind the plate of calling strikes and balls. I mean, as I just showed you a couple minutes ago, that call was being called a strike way outside the plate. And then there's two seconds later, he'll call a ball right down the fucking middle. And I mean, right down the goddamn square middle. Now, here's a couple of things I kind of want to point out just very briefly. First things first, as for those of you who don't know, Andrew Hernandez, I believe he's like 62, 61 
nine years old, somewhere around there. So he's kind of getting up there in age. Obviously, with the way his eyes looked, he's getting up there in age. I would say at this point, he's just kind of doing this for fun. He doesn't give a fuck anymore. And that's kind of the reason why I think he's making a lot of bad calls. But ultimately, kind of hit my final point. They need to make a change with the union of the MLB umpires. I feel like the power they're giving them to where they can make these bad calls and the MLB union is protecting Angel Hernandez to this value. It, it seems a little ridiculous. Like it's getting to the point of where like they're going to almost here soon try to force him into a playoff game to force him into being in the World Series when everybody in the world knows that we do not want that man anywhere near the uh, World Series. Now, am I saying they should just demolish the union entirely? No, um, there should be a union of some sort. But the way the union should work is to protect your guys when there's, they're not doing anything wrong. When they are making bad calls and it can affect a game, especially with the way, the way of betting nowadays, if betting wasn't around, I'd be like, man, whatever, it's game. But with the way of betting now, people are putting their, some people are putting their fucking life savings on the line. You got to understand that. Some people are going into games and they're putting like 40 G's on the line. Like imagine some guy puts 40 G's on the line for a team to win just a random game in July on a Thursday. And it comes down to, it's a 4-4 game, bases loaded, 3-2 count, 2 outs. And he bet for this team that's got the 3-2 count with the batter at the plate to either get walked or get a hit and walk off and hit win the game right here. And the pitcher throws the ball way above the strike zone, nowhere near a strike, and you call strike three, you're out. These are the kind of calls that we were talking about with Andrew Hernandez that he, he, he can't keep getting away with this shit. So like I said, there needs to be changes with the MLB union, whether it's like do something to where you can still be suspended for this stuff. And it's not like we're saying just kick you out of the league completely. Now, I know there's some people that are saying it, but I'm just saying even with the Angel Hernandez, make it to where you can be suspended a game if this stuff starts adding up like it has been if it gets to a point of where like within 20 games you have like 10 uh, allegations against you or 10 complaints already get suspended at least one game it's like it's a 162 game season people one game's not going to kill you and then if it keeps going on across another 20 games you have another 10 or something allegations like that get another game suspended now if this were the case andrew hernandez probably gets suspended at least eight to nine games a year but for the love of god eight to nine games ain't gonna hurt you it ain't gonna hurt your salary it ain't gonna hurt your pride i don't think plus also think of it this way you get eight or nine free days off like and let's just make it like this you get paid for it. Make it to where you get suspended, but you still get paid. So the umpires will stop crying. I just think if we keep on letting Andrew Hernandez and even other umpires, there's a lot of other umpires that are getting closer to what Andrew Hernandez is right now, that if we don't take control right now and make these guys just call a fair game, or if they can't call for a game, let some other umpires call the games, we're going to have a problem for the next 5, 10 years, even 20, 100 years, for God's sakes. But other than that, I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Hopefully, you guys did go ahead and enjoy today's video. If you did enjoy, as always, make sure you go and drop a like on this video. Be very much appreciated if you do so. If you wanted to watch the entirety of today's video, thank you very much. And like I said, if you have a different opinion, do you think Andrew Hernandez and MLB umpires with the union should be dismolished? Should it stay? Should Andrew, Andrew Hernandez be kicked out of the MLB? Maybe should he stay? Are you a fan of him? Not a fan of him? Whatever your opinion may be, leave your complete opinion down in the comment section down below. Be more welcome to talk about with you guys. If you're a fan of the content that I did post here and you want to go and hit that big red subscribe button, feel free to do so. And do not forget to hit that little notification bell to be notified the second I post. But without further ado, this has been Down Talk Sports. Have a great day. Peace.